Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this lighting is okay. Um, it's like just my bedroom lighting. I don't want to get out my like full on light because this part start of the video is going to be very fast. Anyways, as you can see by the title, this video is basically curating my winter wardrobe or buying things, buying my dream wardrobe essentially, but for winter. So I've already started with the purchases. So I thought while the first half is here, I may as well unbox them and show you guys. And then we can do a part two still within this video when the second half of things get here, because otherwise a pile just builds up behind my bed. And I want to look at everything like I don't have patience. So I'll tell you guys what I've ordered so far. Basically for winter, I want to build a wardrobe that is that has a lot more dark colors and also more neutral tones or earthy tones, whatever you would call it, like dark green, dark brown or khaki, gray, black, white, as opposed to my usual pink, blue, purple, whatever I wear during the year and during summer. Especially because in winter, I want to try and fake tan less. Don't hold me to it. I don't know if I'm going to go through it through with it or not but I really want to try and not fake tan as often and kind of be comfortable in having like my skin be pale and work with it in terms of like like what I wear and the colors I choose to wear and how it's going to flatter my body but I want to dress a lot more grungier a lot more like it yeah, like soft grunge kind of vibes for the winter because I think it'll complement my coloring really well and help me to maybe not want to fake tan so the, a lot the main websites I've bought off is I've bought from IMG I've got my list here I've bought from this place called booty I don't know I'm trying out some long Line black tee and uh, black long sleeves. Hopefully it works. Um, Minga and H and M is what I've ordered so far and what I have. I have some things from ASOS that are coming in as well. I'll show you guys those when they come. But for now, we've got the haul that I've got, so I'm gonna go grab them and unbox. Okay, so. First thing is from Booty. This came in like a really big box that I'm pretty sure had a spider on it. So like I just took it out like this and it's a long line, long sleeve. I got this in a size small. I'm really after some long sleeve tops that are proper long line. And when I say long line, I want it to go past my butt. Like that's the vibe I'm looking for. I'm not 100% sure this is going to offer that. I'm glad I only chose one color because I'm really, I really wasn't sure what the vibe was going to be like. Um, it feels like really nice soft material. I have a couple cook eye ones as well, which on the models, it looks like they're long line but I have a long torso so like this on me is not going to go past my butt but I'm sure like it feels stretchy so it possibly could the quality does does feel really really nice so I'm looking I'm hopeful for that the next thing I have here is from IMG so I just ordered a little black now this isn't really winter appropriate but it is something that's like black so hopefully like it'll look good against pale skin Black is just like such a good color to wear. So like, I feel like it might look nice. They were having a 30% off store wide and like, yeah, I really, really loved this. It's like a black, this is going to be kind of like for like when I go to like my little um, techno doof things. It's like a t-shirt and it has like mesh at the bottom and at the top. It is very like 2009 and it's got a little picture IMG up. And it's got like two bows on it. I think that's going to be really cute on it. I got that in a size small. I, I feel like IMG runs. I don't want to say true to size because then it's like saying that I like, I, oh, IMG runs honestly like a teeny bit. I don't know. They're weird. Like I feel like they're uh, pretty much true to size, but to me, but like a little bit bigger maybe. Anyways, I got this skirt in a medium. Um, it's just a plaid, like a, sorry, a pleated skirt with the bow, so it kind of matches the top and also has random bits of like a mesh. I don't know how well, can you see that? Um, it's like plastic. <laughs> yeah, I just thought this would be cute to wear with like tights. I don't know how well this is going to go. It looks like it's a little bit longer at the back, which I appreciate because skirts are always too short for me on the back where my butt is. This is obviously made to be worn low rise, by the way, like... I would not wear this high rise because your ass cheeks would be out unless you're going for that look. But this is more something I wanted to wear with like a big jumper or like a long line top that goes fully down. I wouldn't wear this with a crop top unless maybe in the future in summer, but like I'd wear it with a long line top and like um, tights or something. I hope that looks good on. H&M. I ordered four singlets because I want to do like baggy jeans. So like I want my look to either be like grungy or like 90s. So I kind of wanted to do like baggy jeans with like long line singlets and I needed some better quality ones. I don't know how good these quality is going to be because like I guess H&M is like, I don't know, they're decent. So I've got black, white and dark, dark gray and light gray. Okay, I'm probably still going to have to wear a bra under this, unfortunately. So I've got this one. I got it in black as well. So this is like a dark gray, which I love this gray. I really don't like this on pale skin. I really, really hate it. Probably when I'm tanned, you know, like I could probably get away with it now, but yeah. Okay, and last package for today is from Minga London. Oh, it's about to die. I need to hurry up. Quick, 
I got these because I really wanted grey jeans. So they're like, like they're supposed, they're like brown, but like acid wash or like bleach distressed looking grey. Baggy all the way down. I kind of just want a grey, but not light grey. So this is pretty much perfect. It's in between and I love the detailing. I think that's going to be super grunge. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. It's the next week and I got the rest of my packages. I think there's like a couple more things coming in. I don't know if they'll be in this video, but otherwise I'll insert photos. It was just the um the Demonias, the Cubbies in black because obviously oh I want <laughs> Yeah, I know, but it's fine. Okay, guys, you're going to see Olivia in the mirror in the background. Please ignore her. She has nowhere else to go in this room. So I've got three ASOS packages here. I also got a top today from um, from Tibbs and Bones from their brand Ragged Jeans, which I it kind of goes with this video. So what is this? Oh yeah, ASOS was having like a little sale, so I just picked up a necklace because I've been really loving the color red lately. Perfect timing because I'm wearing this red top, and I got this like red necklace. I love how it's like a big, like really big chunky piece. I think that's really gorgeous. Anyway, see what I've got. I don't even remember. Oh yeah, I got this this um grey pleated skirt because I just needed a grey skirt. Like I know it's very trendy to have one right now. And the girl who tattooed me a couple weeks ago, she was wearing like this grey mini skirt with a black oversized like oversized hoodie, and she just looked really cool. So this would be perfect. It's from the brand Only Tailoring, but it was sold out. I did get the last one. Um, this is in a size 12. Next, I got this top, which I thought goes along with how I said like kind of earthy and dark tones. But I had a feeling it was gonna be like this. Oh, that's actually good. It's lined on the boob area, which means it won't. Be see through you guys are gonna hate me for this but i really have been wanting to wear snapbacks i've been wanting to go for that kind of cool american girl style like that 2012 era american girl snapback i got a small slash medium this better fit oh yeah yeah my head um i want to like it's a bit different for what i would usually go for it definitely doesn't feel like it was worth the price it feels very very thin but it looks like this it's like goes off the shoulders it's from the brand on asos called reclaimed vintage and they have a lot of like vintage style pieces like they i really love the clothing it's wrap around black like dress it's like a knit material i just thought it was kind of cute gothy vibes like okay there's a hair on there that's not my hair even though it looks just like my hair Ugh. i'll have to vacuum this after but yeah, I thought this would be really cute. Like that wraparound. I love this kind of material. I feel like it hugs your body really, really well. This one. So I'm a bit nervous about this. I got this in a size 8. UK stuff usually runs a bit bigger, so I'm hoping it'll fit fine because it's from Topshop's petite section. So it should be okay. If anything, the sleeves might be a bit short, but it was on sale for really cheap. So it's like really cool leather jacket, and I want to wear it open or also zipped up. It doesn't either, doesn't really matter. Yeah, US size 4. So that is my normal size, but I don't know because it's like petite. If it's too small for me, then kill me now. This wasn't supposed to come till next week. If, I, if this is what I think it is. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, this is like a fluffy black headband. I have like this outfit idea. Oh, this looks a little bit mangled. But like you wear it like over your hair, and I have like this full black outfit that I want to wear with it, especially with the um, cubbies. So, all right, that's all guys for the haul. I think that's everything. I'm going to do a try on now, but I don't, I am wearing these jeans, the Minga ones, so you can just see them live. This is what it looks like. I really like these. They're a size um, 30 inch, which is like a 12. They're a little bit big, but like that's totally fine. I'd rather them be a bit big than a bit small. And I wore them all day today and they were really comfy and I liked them. All right, now let's get on to the try on of everything else. All right, I'm gonna be trying some things on for you guys. I'm gonna kind of give you an idea of how I would style it as well, but this is mainly just the try on of the actual items, okay? So let's go. So this is what the leather jacket looks like. I tried on yesterday when I got it just because I was a little bit nervous, like if it wasn't gonna fit, cause it is quite a small size, but this is kind of the vibe I was going for, like having like a fitted, obviously it doesn't go with these pants, so let's put this up so. Like that fitted kind of vibe. And then obviously it zips up, but I'm just like, I'm gonna show you how it looks zipped up. Like I would do it like this and I'll go out like this. Like I feel like this is really cute. It's very like winter, kind of grungy, biker chick vibes. And a little bit like late 2000s with like a skinny jean and then like the boots that I want to put them in. I know you might be like skinny jeans, what? But like, trust me, when you see the outfit come together, you're going to understand. This is what the singlets look like. I'm only going to try on like one of them so you can get an idea. But I love how they go all the way down. See how they like go down like this? You wear them with like a low rise flare jean or a straight leg jean. And it's just super 2000s. But because I want to do that more late 2000s, vibe i just love it with like a little cardigan or something like that um i think it's going to be really cute also even just with a pair of like baggy jeans if you just like crop it i feel like it's going to be really cute too and like you wear like a little push-up bra to have a little bit of a cleavage moment i'm obviously not wearing one but that would be the idea 
Okay guys, this is the booty long sleeve. I'm pretty happy with how far down it goes. The only thing I wish is that it was more open on the top so you could once again have like a push-up bra and cleavage. But I am really happy with how it feels really soft on, which is what I was hoping. This is what the ASOS, this is what the ASOS skirt looks like. I'm very happy with how it fits. It's obviously like a little bit big, but that's okay because if you're wearing like a top, you can always like roll it like this to make it shorter and stuff. Um, but I think it's really, really cute and flattering. And it's not too short at all. A lot of the reviews are saying it's super short. It honestly isn't, but I do have shorter legs and a longer torso. So I feel like maybe that's why I don't find it too short. But I think it's really cute with like a little white top, a little white baby tee. Even like a big, as I was saying, oversized jumper with it, I feel like would look really cute. So I already showed you guys these jeans yesterday, but I'm going to use them as kind of like the jean to wear all the tops with. But once again, I love the fit of these Minga jeans. They're a size 30 inch, which is meant to be like a size 12. So they are a tiny bit big on the waist. Like when I like bend down, they kind of gape here. But that's honestly fine because as I said, I'd rather them be a little bit big than too tight because when it's like a bit tight, especially for me, because I've got like a bit of like my, my fat and stuff is more soft here. So when it's too tight, it like dints and like that's not what I want. So... I'm happy for it to be a bit loose. All right, this is the Collusion um, Mesh Tee. I really am glad they put the double layer of black under here. I feel a lot more like safe. Like obviously like, you can still kind of see your nipples through it, but like it's better than if there wasn't anything there. Um, we'll definitely wear this with like a low rise black mini skirt, low rise black jeans. I don't think they really go with these pants. I'm feeling like black would probably be the move. You could do denim as well, but I feel like that would be a little bit basic. So definitely the black and I love this. I love how the cutter is here, like a wide square. Like I think that's really pretty and feminine. And yeah, I really like this one. Okay, guys, this one did not go as planned. It is honestly way too tight, and I'm really surprised because I got it in a size 10. I can't even like twist to make this fit. Um, I'm probably gonna have to sell this, but it would have it definitely would have been really cute. But it's annoying because it was like the most expensive. I don't know how this is meant to be a size 10. Um it doesn't even look like it, it's too tight, it looks like it fits you. Well, I feel like I literally can't move. <sighs> But yeah, I just like, I really like the colors. I think that it's really cool and it's a bit like, it's a bit different. It's a bit more like dark kind of aesthetic. So this is the black mini dress. I'm happy I went with the size eight. I, I feel like I could have done a size 10. It feels like a teeny bit short, but um, this is what it looks like. It's got cutouts here. It's very like Wednesday Adams vibes. Also with a push-up bra, hello, this would look so good. Um, you can tie this bow different ways. I've got it tied at the back like this. Um, I will definitely wear this with the Demonia Cubbies that I'm getting. Like fluffy knee-high boots I think would be really, really cute. I feel like this is also good for something really casual. And it's pretty warm as well, which I think is good for the winter. You can wear like a big leather jacket with it. You can wear a coat. I'm really happy with this purchase. It also came in grey, so I feel like I might end up getting that. So this is the IMG like black set. I think I really, really like this. I think it's cute. Even the top just itself with the pair of jeans. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I was trying to get more black pieces for my wardrobe because I feel like I'm always buying every other color except for black and black is like a vibe sometimes. I really like how the bows match the bows on this, even the mesh, like this could definitely be worn as like a two piece. And it's honestly not too short either. Like I'll probably wear it like maybe to like a rave or something like that. Um, I really, really like this IMG. Said. I think I wish I got more IMG pieces so if you guys ever want me to do just like an IMG a try on I can definitely do that next time they have a big sale This is the jumper that I got from Tibbs and Bones. It's from the brand Ragged Ragged Jeans So I have this vision to wear them with like little black mini shorts and like socks and docks I feel like it'll be really really cute and like pretty grungy It's very different something I wouldn't usually get but I think like the primary kind of vibes colors With the black is like very like very just like kind of soft grunge gothic a little bit and I think it's really cool it's it's actually pretty cute with this skirt. That's the thing I love about um, pleated skirts, like wearing big jumpers with them actually looks adorable. I used to hate that look. Like, I think there was like a phase in 2020 when people would wear these skirts, like big t-shirts. I wouldn't do that, but like with a jumper, it's really, really cute because it's like feminine, but comfy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you like the pieces that I bought. If you want me to do more videos like this, I would love to. It's obviously so much fun shopping and doing try-ons. If you guys ever want to see a video of me styling pieces in a lookbook and whatever, let me know in the comments because I was thinking about doing stuff like that, but I wasn't sure if anyone would be into to it um but yeah i hope you guys got some inspiration as well for your winter fits from this video or autumn like we're going into autumn but you know it's winter in my mind because we're in melbourne and yeah peace out